This is our introduction to breeds with Nita Hand Horsemanship Training of Murfreesboro, Tennessee with certified instructor Courtney Smith. This PowerPoint is a courtesy of the MTSU Horse Science Program. What is a breed? A breed is a group of animals with distinguishing characteristics that can be passed from generation to generation with relative certainty. When we look at breeds, we classify them according to the function of the breed, that conformation, and sometimes color. There is many 500 horse breeds worldwide. Several hundred of those breeds are identified here in the U.S. Most of our breeds in the U.S. can trace their history back to the Arabian and thoroughbred sires. This is done through pedigree tracing, as well as genetic analysis. To help maintain clear breed standards, breed associations have been created. They are responsible for keeping the pedigree records. They also establish registration guidelines, making sure that they keep pure genetics within their breed. Some of these associations even sanction events such as horse shows. Within breeds, there are multiple classifications of the types of horses. These classifications are light, which are typical riding and driving horses, draft, which are heavy horses developed primarily for work, sport, often a worn blood and developed for use in sport with horses, and pony. Let's look at some light breed horses. First, we'll start with the thoroughbred. The thoroughbred was developed in England in the late 1600s. They have an American stud book that began in 1873, in which they can trace the history and pedigrees of the thoroughbred breed. There were exotic stallions that were bred to domestic royal mares to improve the speed and endurance. Thoroughbred is primarily running horses. They can also be used as hunter jumpers and dressage and a vinning. They generally range from 15-1 to 16-2 hands, but can be taller. The thoroughbred body type is generally lean, long muscles. They have a long stride to help with their efficient movement. This is what makes them ideal for racing so that they can cover long distances there are approximately 40,000 registered per year in the United States. Here are a few pictures of some thoroughbreds doing the jobs that they love. The bottom right hand corner is a horse doing cross country. Your top left corner is a famous racehorse known as Secretariat. He was an American thoroughbred racehorse who in 1973 became the first Triple Crown winner in 25 years. His record-breaking victory at the Belmont Stakes, which he won by 31 length, is widely regarded as one of the greatest races in history. Now let's look at the standard bread. The standard bread was developed in the U.S. in the late 1800s. The name derived from a standard of speed that had to be shown to be registered. The thoroughbred and Morgan horse influenced this breed. Standard breads can race at either a trot or a pace in harness racing. They also make great riding and driving mounts. A lot of Amish use the standard bread as their cart horses. The most common colors are bay with some chestnuts and gray. They range in height from 15.2 to 16.3 hands. There are approximately 11,000 standard breads registered in the U.S. each year. Now let's look at the Morgan horse. It was developed in the U.S. in the late 1700s. All horses trace back to Justin Morgan. You should read the book. This is a very versatile general purpose horse and was used for numerous things. The Morgan is typically 14-2 to 15-2 hands. They have a lively and animated gait, are upright in their head and neck carriage. Morgans are typically, typically have a thick build 
with strong bone and wide shoulders and hindquarters. They are a very level-headed horse, which makes them an ideal trail and pleasure mount. There are typically 3,000 Morgans registered in the U.S. each year. The Arabian is most likely the world's oldest breed, with records back into 1635 BC. This horse was imported to America in 1730. The Arabian can range in height from 14 to 15 two hands. It has a very prominent dished face and arched neck. It's level through its croup and has typically long lean muscling. The Arabian is known for their spirited appearance and attitude. Their distinct facial features make it easy to pick them out of a crowd. Because of where the Arabian originated in its ancestry, it makes an ideal endurance horse. The Arabian was crossed with other horses to add refinement to the other breeds. They are a great versatility breed, can be shown in western, hunt seat, and driving. There are typically 10,000 Arabians registered in the U.S. each year. Now let's look at the American Quarter Horse. This breed was developed as early as the 1700s in colonial America, but not registered until the 1930s. These horses were bred primarily for match race horses. They got their name because they were the fastest horse in a quarter of a mile. The American Quarter Horse is known as the Cowboy Mount in the West. They're known for having great cow sense and a very docile, docile disposition. The quarter horse is praised for its versatility and temperament. This breed performs in racing, trail competitions, as well as trail riding, shows, or as a working ranch horse. The American quarter horse can range from 14 to 17 hands. It is heavily muscled, well-balanced, and an athlete. There are multiple types of quarter horses as they have been bred for specific purposes. It's the most popular breed in the U.S. with over 100,000 horses registered annually in the U.S. Here are some examples of the versatility of the American quarter horse. In the top left-hand corner, you see the horse being shown in English as a hunter under saddle. Top right hand corner is demonstrating reining, where the bottom right hand corner is a horse jumping along with the left hand corner of the horse demonstrating its cow sense in a working cow horse class. Moving to the American paint horse, this breed was developed from native colored horses and the crop out quarter horses. The registry was formed in 1965. This breed does, this breed association does allow outcrossing to thoroughbreds and quarter horses. Some people will say that the paint horse is a quarter horse with color. Well, we would like to think so. There's a wide variety of types of the American paint horse, as well as a wide variety of color patterns. We have Overo, Tobiano, Tovero, as well as solid paint breeds. Next, we'll look at the Appaloosa. This color pattern may date to prehistoric times. There are quite a few color patterns in the Appaloosa breed from leopard, snowflake, blanket, or a combination of all the above. The Appaloosa was a favorite of the Indians. There are several characteristics that are unique to the Appaloosa breed. The Appaloosa is a stock type horse, similar to the quarter horse. It generally has a spotted color pattern with multiple variations. You can also see skin molting in the Appaloosa breed. That is the mix of pink and dark skin around the eyes, flank areas, 
nostril, muzzle. This breed also will have striped hoofs. Next is American Saddlebred. It was developed in Kentucky in the 1800s as a multiple use animal. The registry formed in 1891. The American Saddlebred has a strong influence of thoroughbreds as well as standard breds in their ancestry. The American Saddlebred can be a three-gated or five-gated horse. It can have the walk, trot, and canter, but also a walk, slow gait, stepping pace, and rack. The Saddlebred moves with a high-stepping animated movement. This breed can range from 15 to 16 plus hands. It has an upright build, flat through the croup, and long arched necks. The head is less refined than the Arabian, and it's generally larger framed. Now we'll look at the Tennessee Walking Horse. This is a gated breed, and it accounts for 18% of the horses in West Virginia. The Tennessee Walking Horse was developed in Tennessee as a Southern Plantation Horse, hence the name Tennessee Walking Horse. The registry was established in 1935. The Tennessee Walking Horse has a distinctive characteristic known as the running walk. This horse is a large bodied and large frame horse, ranging in height from 15 to 16 two hands. Their general color is a solid color, but there are some spotted, known as pinto, coat patterns. Tennessee walking horses can either be a plantation versus a heavy shot horse. This horse has been known in our current media as the horse who is being padded and soared to perform. The Tennessee Walking Horse Association has done a lot to help educate the public on the true use and ability of the walking horse. This breed is favored by trail riders because of their smooth, easy lateral gait. Some other gated breeds are the Missouri Fox Trotter. It's a broken trot, not a trot like a quarter horse, meaning its front hits first. The Racking Horse, it's developed from the Walking Horse. Some of these horses can both do a running walk or a rack. And then we have the Pasifino or Peruvian Paso, which has Spanish origins. The Paso gait is a broken pace. They move in very quick, short strides. Now let's look at our next classification. Drafts. Drafts are the workhorse. They were developed to be heavy, strong, and have a low center of gravity and be large boned. They are used today for work, show, and other recreation. The Percheron was developed in France in the 1600s. They range from 16 to 18 hands and are primarily black or gray. This breed is more refined and balanced than other draft breeds. Next, is the popular Clydesdale. The Clydesdale were developed in Scotland in the 1700s. They range from 16 to 18 hands and are predominantly bay with white legs and a blaze. The long white hairs on the bottom of their legs are referred to as feathers. The Belgian. This breed outnumbers other draft breeds combined in the US. They are native to Belgium in the 1800s range from 16.2 to 17 hands and up to 2,000 pounds. They are a very quiet and hardy breed. They are primarily chestnut with a flaxen mane and tail, not typically Palomino. Now we'll look at the Shire. This breed was developed in England in the 1600s. It is the tallest of the draft breeds, being anywhere from 17 to 19 hands tall. They can range in color from black, bay, or gray with white legs. They generally have a Roman nose and they will also have 
long hair on the lower parts of their legs, known as feathers. Now let's look at some sport breeds. What is a warm blood? Well, primarily they're used for sporting activities. A warm blood is a combination between a light breed and a draft breed. Generally, they're used in English events, such as dressage, hunter jumpers, and eventing. The Andalusian, or Lusitano, was developed in Spain and Portugal. It was the premier war horse. They are known for being used as riding and driving, and they are primarily white or gray. They stand 15 two to 16 hands with a stout build and have a very docile temperament. Next is the Holsteiner. They were developed in Germany. These horses must be approved to be breeding stock and registered in the Holsteiner Association. They range from 16 to 17 hands, are always solid in color. They have a strong hindquarters and excel in jumping. A Trakaner was also developed in Germany, range from 15 to 17 hands. They're the lighter breed in the warm blood classification. They also have to be approved for breeding stock and they must also pass a performance test. This is to help ensure that they keep specific qualities, temperaments and genetics within that breed association. Hanoverian, developed in Germany as the war horse. This is the oldest German breed. To be approved into the Hanoverian registration, they must also perform a performance test. The Lipizzan or Lipizzaner. This originated in Eastern Europe. This breed was nearly killed in World War II. They were eventually protected by the US Army. This breed is most famous for their Spanish riding school in which a group has traveled around the world demonstrating the war skills and training of this breed in horse. They are gray in color. Now let's look at the pony breeds. The first is the POA or Pony of the Americas. This is a stock type pony that has Appaloosa coloring. They're very popular with the youth. They have a quiet disposition and range in height from 11.2 to 14 hands. Next is the Shetland. The Shetland Pony was domesticated from wild ponies in Shetland Isles, which is where they got their name. Their maximum height is 11.2 hands. They're popular for kids because of their size, but sometimes their disposition may not be well suited as they're number, no, known to be stubborn and hard-headed. The Hackney Pony, developed in England. This is like a small saddlebred. They're a very popular show pony, used for riding as well as driving. The Connemara, developed in Ireland. This is a large sport pony, ranging from 12 to 14 two hands. They have a quiet willing disposition and are a very popular jumping mount. The miniature horse. Is this a pony? Not according to the American Miniature Horse Association. These horses cannot be above 36 inches. It was developed in England for a novelty. Dwarfs are not desirable as that that is a genetic defect that can cause very serious complications for the horse later in life. They should resemble a miniature Arabian. They're very popular for driving, show, and as pets. Now let's look at other Equus breeds. We have the Equus Essenus, also known as a donkey, mule, or henny. Donkeys, also known as ass or burrow. A miniature is up to 36 inches. A standard donkey is up to 56 inches. And a mammoth donkey is anything greater than 56 inches. Donkeys are generally gray, dun, or pinto. They are known as a jack, which is a male, a jenny, which is a female, or a gilded jack, which is a castrated male. 
A mule is a cross between a jack and a mare. There may be many types of mules, ranging from a stock type, gated, draft, to many. Mules are sterile due to different number of chromosomes from horse, which is 64, and a donkey, which is 62. Okay, that's the end of our breeds lesson. So now let's go take that quiz and test you on your equine breed knowledge.